Welcome to Nobody Knows with Joe Coffee, powered in part by Classic of Denton. Hey, what's up? I'm Richie with Denton Radio, and I'm here with... Allison. Um, okay, so are you familiar with Joe Coffee? Uh, no. Mm-mm. Okay, um, let me ask you this. The Denton, are you, are you from Denton? Uh, I've lived here for about a year and a half. A year and a half. And do you know the Denton slogan currently? I do not. Denton, a fine place. Oh, okay. Hmm. So they're trying to change it to Denton, the Northern Star. What do you think about that? I like it better than the old one. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. A fine place versus a Northern Star. It's a little better. Yeah, it shines a little brighter. What would you change if you would, or if you could change it? What would, what do you think in this year that you've been here? Um, Denton's a pretty welcoming place, so probably like everyone's welcome. It's a fun Denton, place. everyone's welcome. Yeah, something like that. All right, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, you're. Hey, what's up? It's Richie with Denton Radio. I'm with David Sims. Uh, David, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good. Are you a fan of Denton Radio? Um, I've I've, I've just checked it out a little bit. Yeah, a little from time to time. Yeah. Uh, are you a Joe Coffee fan? I've never really heard of him. No. Um, he has a show called Nobody Knows with Joe Coffee. Uh, today on the show, he has uh, Daniel Magden, the comedian. Are you familiar with him? Sounds familiar, but yeah, I can't be for sure. How long have you been in Denton? Uh, I've lived here all my life. All your life. You know the Denton slogan, then, right? Uh, which, well, Denton, a fine place. I've heard a lot of different yeah. slogans. Uh, what do you think? They're actually trying to change it from Denton, a fine place, to Denton, the true star. What do you think about that? Oh, uh, well, it's certainly becoming starish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, compared to Dallas. What do you feel or... better, though? What sounds better? Denton, a fine place, or Denton, the true star? What sounds more like? I don't know. Maybe the true star probably sounds a little, uh, uh, I don't know. It's, Arrogant? Yeah. I guess it's a good word. <laughs> right. That's a good word. I, I'm, I'm, we already have enough problem with that. <laughs> I think so, yeah. I think um, other cities probably perceive it to be that way sometimes, but uh, I don't know. What about um, all this construction on the courthouse? It's a good idea, bad idea? Oh, it's a good idea. Anytime that they're doing something to upgrade or, or you know, I mean, because yeah. the, the streets themselves are, you know, to me, I mean, they're all in constant uh, um, upgrade status. What about all the bars kind of up, upgrading? Good idea, bad idea? Well, it's, 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 well, it's okay. I mean, it didn't used to be like this, you know. Uh, it was very traditional, you know, years ago when I was growing up. Now it's becoming kind of a hot spot, you know, almost like a, you know, I wouldn't, I, I, I would loosely compare it to maybe 6th Street in Austin or something like that. But, yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. It's, I think it's, it's bringing all of the, uh, um, that's what I'm looking for. All the all the establishments that are, that were here are having yeah. to close down because the the property values are going up because of the bars. Yeah. So, um, so it's in good. some ways it's good, in some ways it's not so good. Awesome. Okay, it's Rishi. I'm here with Den Radio. I'm here with Kirk Simmons. Kirk Simmons. Are you a Den Radio fan? Have you heard of it? Hadn't heard of it. No. no. Um, what about Joe Coffee? Are you familiar with him no. and his show? No, not that either. Okay. What about the Denton slogan? They're trying. You, know, do you remember the old one? Mm-hmm. Denton, a fine place. No. They're trying to change it to uh, Denton. It's like home. You know, I think the last slogan I heard was Denton, top of the golden triangle. That's how long I've been around here. Oh, awesome. <laughs> well, thank you, man. Okay. Sure enough, Rich. The weirdest part about doing these interviews is feeling I'm stalking, I pray. All right, so I'm Richie with Denton Radio. I'm here with... Cindy Rayburn. And Colin Rayburn. Um, okay, so I'm. are y'all familiar with Joe Coffey? No. <laughs> the comedian? No. Uh, what about uh, Daniel Magden? He's on the show today. No, sorry. No? Okay, no. It's all good. Okay, um, so they're uh, recently changing it from uh, Denton, a fine place. Like, okay. Uh, yeah. It's fine. To um, Denton, everyone's welcome. I mean, yeah. But it's not... A lot of people are saying that it's like trying to welcome too many people or something. Sorry. And we already... We're, everyone's not welcome. We just want to yeah. welcome a few. I don't know. That, that, that was the alternative. That's what, like other people are making memes about that, and like, but some other ones were like uh, the northeastern star. T- didn't the northeastern star? Which that doesn't really have a message behind it. But a that, lot of that people makes it sound like we're in the northeast, though. We're not in the northeast. Yeah, Texas. <laughs> it's like the star thing or whatever. But do you like art? Yeah. Do you want to come help me save a bird? Uh, sure. Uh, I...
just, uh, I don't know. Uh, I actually did not know that. Nobody knows, knows Joe, Joe Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I, I did not know. I did not know that. Nobody knows Joe Coffee. Nobody knows Joe Coffee. Hey. <laughs> now just go wop, 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 wop. Wop, 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 wop. Perfect. Yeah, Thank you so much. Yeah. One, two, a one, two, how do you do, I don't know how to count. <laughs> well, let me see, so what's up for three? It's a one, a two, a one, two, three, one, two, three. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows Joe Coffee. Nobody knows Joe Coffee. And nobody ever will. Thank you. Nobody knows Joe Coffee. Nobody knows Joe Coffee. Nobody, nobody knows, knows Joe, Joe Coffee. Absolutely. Do you know Wait. his name? Uh oh man, I forgot his name. That makes Somebody so the bad. other day was We're like talking really about well. the guy who does the fiddle in yeah, the intro. Yeah, this guy it's was two like, guys. So it's two. That's two. Yeah, the guy on the fiddle. I don't know his name. We know the guy who plays banjo. It was actually banjo. Charlie Daniels. Uh, man, uh, I feel so bad for forgetting. His no, name. one day recently, someone was like, a "Nice, yeah, dude." I was talking to Clifton the other day, and it was they were talking about him, and I was like, "I didn't know his name Is was his name Clifton." <laughs> Wait, what? I don't. I don't remember the name. I'm making. You up just names. changed the name. No, I'm like, making up names. Within like, thirty seconds, you changed the name on me. For the script, I'll tell the script. <laughs> but we're Cletus plays fiddle really well. Yeah. That's what we're trying to say. Yeah, <laughs> whoever he is, he's a nice dude. He's always at the open mics and stuff. He always like talks to me a long time, so I feel terrible. The guy that was playing the fiddle, I actually mm-hmm. really like that guy. Okay, it's really cool. Any any more hot takes on the fiddle or the man behind the fiddle? Um, Fiddler on the roof. He's a nice guy. He's a solid, solid guy. He's a really solid guy. Like he's the guy that you would have go pick okay. up your dry cleaning. Right. And you know, well, he's gonna. What a strong start, everyone, to Fiddling. episode twenty-five. This is post Halloween. This twenty-five is post Halloween episode. We Still feel so spooky. Here, <laughs> as always, nobody knows episode twenty-five. I'm Joe Coffee, your host, with my co-host Richie Flo. Hey. How is it going, episode my guy? Dude. And our our co, or I guess our, our our special guest today, special special guest. You, they it's don't not the first time I've been called title. special. I know, I Mr. Know. Blue Pocket himself. It's Mr. elementary <laughs> school. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> we're, don't worry, we're not going to put you in remedial radio after this. Uh, <laughs> everyone, our guest, local comedian and a friend of mine, Daniel Magden. Yes, Howdy, Danny. Uh, I didn't know the radio still existed. I so know, I'm excited. I know. You have to type in a link now to get to it. That's how it works. So what's been up, man? Did you do a uh, post Halloween episode? Did you do anything? for Halloween? No, no. I uh, I thought about doing stuff for Halloween. Uh, I mm-hmm. got invited to a lot of stuff, and I was like, I'll be there, and then I just never went, and that's the story of my life. It gets yeah. too it's late at some point. Eventually, I'm like, 9 o'clock? That's not I'm when not people leave the house. <laughs> yeah, and you just what? You just chill in your house and watch Stranger I Things played, all weekend? I play... I played an older version of NBA 2K. Okay, so what, it, what what so year? NBA what year? <laughs> hey, hey, because the, the the meter goes up for every two years that it's old. Like the sad meter goes up one. Absolutely, it was, it was 2K60, so it came out 2015. Oh my god, so you're fifteen. Sad. You're sad it was sad. No, because it's because I feel like I'm changing the future. <laughs> like in my version of 2016, the Knicks win it all. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. only time the Knicks okay. will win anything. So, I feel <laughs> feel like your when own I win alternate it, reality. I never took you for a a sports person or b a video game he's a basketball person guy. yeah I'm, I'm a bit of a basketball guy but uh do you actually play b-ball i did and then i gave up as soon as i realized that i would have i was like you have a joke about that yeah yeah i used to talk about this on stage i've done it a while but like i was dead convinced i was gonna be in the nba yeah i you looked the been. exact same no but i didn't even get, most kids decide that when they're did like anyone five. else hey did anyone else believe in this pipe dream no, with you did you have anybody feel i mean no even, so that's no almost even tried to support look, me. like so why because because your height? Because well, think about it. I was it. bad at basketball. <laughs> but think about it. Good it wasn't Tweety Bird height. played for no. Toon Squad, and he's like three <laughs> inches. No, it was like I would – I set the record in my high school for the most turnovers in a game ever. And turnovers like when you travel or you throw the ball out of the court. Like I would get the ball. I stayed in the game for 20 minutes because they tried so hard. to just get me to score yeah. one yeah. basket. Uh-huh. We were losing by 40 points. Yes. I, I played on a couple teams. I had a YMCA team that we won zero games. We, you played 10 games, right? And the last game of the season, we were up by I, – I think it was – 
or, or we had to get one. We were tied. So it, they, and they end them in ties because that's why I'm seeing about Yeah. You know what I mean? No they one's don't got time no, one's, no one's got time for Shuffleboard's overtime. Shuffleboard's coming in exactly. in 20 minutes. You've got to make time. Very soon. And so uh, I, I, I just remember it coming down to me and shooting free throws. And I was a baseball guy. I wasn't much of a yeah. basketball. I could drive to the lane layup with shots, like, you know, jump shots, free throws. Like, that's scary. When it's on the line, you haven't won any games. I made one of those free throws, <laughs> and we won. And it was just, like, the biggest basketball yeah. moment of my life. See, no, I, I, I unnecessarily wore a headband because it looked cool. I, I played in a church sleeve. league. Oh, you had the sleeve? <laughs> See, I was an Allen Iverson guy, so the <laughs> sleeve and the head. Never made a shot. Never made a single shot. But you looked shot. cool. You I looked played cool. in a church league, and basically the kids who were like 10 to 11 were on a team, and then the kids that were like 13 and 14 were on a team. And we would play each other twice. I would, love to, I would love to see you. No, it was sports. so bad. No, here's the thing. Like, the thought of Danny playing basketball is funny, but yeah. just for some reason, you playing any sport well, competitively, I, too. You I played baseball. Hey, come on, man. Does played, anyone have to win? I Rich played baseball back when, when it was legal for the coach to be the pitcher. <laughs> what? Right? <laughs> is that a thing? That, that? The coach was the pitcher at my baseball. Okay. And I was in the outfield. What do you mean he was the pitcher? It wasn't like machine, like he would underhand to He would guys? underhand it to us. Oh, okay. Like, like some kid was trained to be pitcher, like, not today, Jimmy. Yeah, it's it was, my it was, time it. It was to shine. He would like strike us out and feel good about it, <laughs> you know? And I remember, I remember like uh, being really that sad. That was his moment to shine, yeah. not yours. I felt really sad because they would always put me in the outfield and, you know, we're like, seven or eight like no one's yeah. there's no reason for outfield and i was just the whole time i was out there i was just thinking like maybe my parents will give me a turkey leg after this <laughs> and i would just sit down and play in the grass then i played basketball and i was like i was really big into flips when i was a kid like uh, i never could do any like back you just liked them i love the idea of like my the biggest idea, idea of flips. <laughs> That's One of my is. biggest regrets in life is never actually learning a proper backflip. I, I, regret, I regret not no. being able to flip and not being able to dunk a basketball. Yeah, Those if I could just flip, I like if do. I could Back flip right now, I would love to dunk. I remember praying to God one day <laughs> before the show. I was like, I was like, God. <laughs> I know mm -hmm. I don't score a lot of baskets. <laughs> I know we don't talk often. Yeah. Or win a lot of games. Yeah. But if you could just let me dunk one time. <laughs> thing. I remember moment. the same thing. I was Never like, happens. please let my dad show up for this <laughs> next game. That's kind of how I am with the guitar, too. Although I know I could teach myself the guitar, I know I just never will. It's you know not going to happen. So it it's feels like a thing I could never. That's how um, I am about video games. So anyway, backflips, though. Yo, yeah, yeah, so I love doing – I love the idea of doing Lean flips. Lean in on that mic. And I never could do flips. <laughs> <laughs> But I, um, but so I would do these little round off things that I kind of made up. I could probably still do one. Right, right in here. Yeah. I don't think anyone will be able to hear to that. Yeah. So I would do these flips and, and that's what I was doing during the basketball. My mom would be like, stop flipping, stop. And I'd be like, no. And like doing little <laughs> car, like half cartwheels. I would love to see you attempt yeah. the cartwheel because I know they weren't full cartwheels. No way. I know. I re even you had the lazy man's cartwheel where like your knees are still kind of bent and you're still like not really doing I remember a full thinking in my head I was doing a rotation. Flip, yeah. And then seeing the video and realizing I was just like tumbling <laughs> over and rolling. Just kind of falling. <laughs> like Forwards. really. This really, is cool, guys. Yeah. Oh, oh, an awesome fall. Because I would use it in like. This girl, I liked her, and I walked up to her, and I did this. And you would just flip, flip in front of her? I said, hey, oh. I'm head over heels for you, and I would just do this little flip. Dude, what if it was that easy? What if we were, like, and, and we're animals, but what if we had such animalistic? Because, you know, that's how, like, birds are, you know what I mean? They, like, fluff their feathers, right? Like, the, the female or the male, like, they're attracted to, like, that yeah. certain. What if that's all it took, just to learn? You, you could get any girl. Just one good trick. You, want, you got it. You one just got to do rest one rest. good flip. And that's it. <laughs> and then it you're works. In. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does work. Some people have that one <laughs> trick. Some yeah. people can throw a football really far. Right. And, and then that, they, they're not going to have problems. Well, there's there's big paychecks that come with throwing yeah. footballs. If you're good at it, as opposed to even if you're good at comedy, sometimes those checks don't. I just – the quarterback in my high school – had a lot more girlfriends than I did. Well, yeah, yeah. I believe well, yeah, that. Because he could, he had the trick. I, I didn't have. I don't even know who our quarterback. You should was. have invested all that basketball time in the football time. I would have been good at football. I think I could run from somebody trying to tackle me. <laughs> I'd be amazing at yeah, that. That was lunch. You know, the little guys; those are the hardest guys to tackle. You know, yeah. if they're fast enough. I mean, are you not that like you're a coward. A little, I'm you, good at. Yeah, like, <laughs> good at not running. That you're a little guy. Good at running away. Oh, I am. Okay. Well, no, anyways. Know. How tall are you? What's your height? I'm like 5'7". Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm a normal size Is that like a sensitive Irishman. thing to you? Not at no. all. Uh, like, I've been the same. You don't have that short man. You but you I've do. never even heard you talk about that on stage. I've been There's the a same lot height of short since comedians. I was 13. Yeah, like, a lot of short comedians talk about that. I don't think I've ever heard you. You do kind of look like 
Who who do you look like? The cartoon. I look like every white the person Fallout boy. with red hair who's ever lived. <laughs> Fallout Boy is a game, or is that That's, a movie? No, Fallout is the game. Fallout Boy is a band. You look like the boy from Fallout, the game. Pit Boy. I don't know. I never played it. <laughs> I just I've seen, seen shirts Fallout, and stuff. I just seen it and was like, "What? Daniel has shirts? Did he get these printed through Mikey B?" I wish. So nothing Shout on out Halloween. Yeah, you just, no. out just gamed uh, out. Yes. And uh, I like. Did you take the Knicks to the? Did you win the NBA no, championship? No, I lost. I okay, lost. so you didn't I, change I got history. Really bad at it. History was pretty much the same. Yeah, it was. Uh, so moral of the story: It's like that movie Time Machine with Johnny Depp. You can't. Moral of the story: Go get some friends. Go if it's a yeah, holiday. Go, do go a thing. be go get a person. Sims. And you're playing this on Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation two? Four that I borrowed from my uncle because I don't even 4? have my own PlayStation. Oh my gosh! I Where worked all I night. Been? I worked all night last night, and then I tried to go have friends. Like I tried to go to a party after work, already tired. Like that's not. That's three never o'clock. Thing. You know what I mean? And everyone was already like way too out of there. there hey, was it's like, Joey's time to shine. Yeah, no, and it was just like really. Lo- they were aggressively loud punk music while they were watching Casper and just like being really drunk at the same time. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And so I was like, oh man, I should. No, my whole weekend was. I saw. You yesterday, I saw actually. You last night. Yeah, you performed last night. Yeah, I actually I at did the three hours. Bell. I did three hours of magic at Game Changers. Yeah. And as soon as I was done, I'm like leaving, making how a beeline do you do to eat. Three hours of magic. Walking See, around a table. How many he walks around and then oh, does okay. tricks to different groups. Yeah. So you used to do the same act for a whole different group. Right. Tables. What if That's comedy? A, what if I wish mobile, it was that easy. mobile comedy? Oh, my God. Get paid by I the mean, hour. <laughs> go table to table. Do yeah. your 15 like you're a waiter. You know what I mean? Well, well here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Because I that would love, be tough. That would be I so love bad. magic, right? It's like one of my favorite things. And I like study it and I learn as much as I can. And I practice and practice and practice. But after that, I don't know if I could do that that many times. Like, after the third hour, I was like, well, I have paper cuts. <laughs> and then I leave. As soon as I'm leaving, someone's like, hey, this is Richie. Mom, this is Richie. I mean, you He's left. the magician. Show him. Can you show my mom some magic? And I was like, I'm not going to show anybody. You like, left with some notoriety, though, and some money. So, I yeah. mean, you can't complain. Like, yeah. for me, fathom, fathoming, like, the idea of doing. Because in stand-up, the only way you do three hours is if you're yeah. on stage and you do three, three hours. hours. I've, I got, I've uh, worked for I got longer paid, than three I got hours. paid pretty handsomely. And also, handsomely. I got about You would 30. define it as handsomely? It's pretty handsome. Like, how handsome? Give me a give me a, a male. Not not the, Don't give me the number. Give me a, uh, a, a male celebrity. Like a Crispin Glover. Which one's Crispin Glover? From Rats. Or from uh, from rats. rats? It doesn't sound scary. It? No, no, no. What is it? He's from. Uh, he's see. the guy. Crispin Glover. Crispin, Crispin Glover. Glover. Hang on, we're about to look him up. He's a good-looking guy. How do you spell that? C R I S P I N. That's such a great. I went to. Not that it's awesome. relevant. I went to college with a guy named Crispin. That's a hilarious name. <laughs> it's hilarious. It takes confidence to name your kid Wait. Crispin. <laughs> okay, so. He's, He's you did okay. I mean, <laughs> you did <laughs> great. Younger Chris. You Jake, Glover. Glover. Jake, can we pull up a picture <laughs> on the screen of Crispin Glover? So, you got you So got Richie's it. homeless now. That's <laughs> like my taste. That's my taste. So Richie got dinner for three hours of magic. <laughs> yeah. That's my taste. I don't know. We all have different tastes. Two so, McDoubles so you, for Richie. <laughs> yeah, you got paid in Philly cheesesteak fries. Look at him. <laughs> He's beautiful, man. <laughs> Kristen <laughs> Glover, <laughs> what made you name drop Kristen? Because what's look at that? Oh my goodness! All right, well that's like a that's a handsome angle, you know. If you just push your forward or it your head, like your his forehead face is denting in. Yeah, if you push your forehead towards the oh man, yeah. that's a bad one. That's, oh god, that's from uh, wait. What is the back like? to the what, what is, what is yeah. the headline read? Crispin <laughs> Crispin Glover still angry about Back to the Future? Why yeah. was he in Back to the Future? Yeah, but they were Who started erasing oh, his he character. The, he's the dad. The dad, right? Oh, is that the pi- that's a picture of him right there, right? In the the tux, is that the, his prom tux? Mm. Yeah, that's oh, where yeah. He's, that's where he's about to hit Biff. Oh man, that is. But but I was gonna say on top of that's such an getting obscure, Crispin Glover. That was money. such an obscure reference. Sorry. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Sorry, but on top of getting the Crispin Glover money, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's not call it Crispin, Crispin Glover money. I got because I still <laughs> think you're making Crispin. Yeah. Actually, you know what? What's he? Ba- you might be making Crispin Glover <laughs> money to be honest. If but he's I got this angry about Back uh, to the Future. Uh, yeah. He might not, he be might doing not well. have that much money. <laughs> he was also. Um, he was on Arliss too. He was. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, Arliss. Arliss. It's also a very that? obscure show. That What's, what is Arliss? It's like a. Sh- it, look it up. Teach me okay. about the nineties, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> no. So Pop here's up. the thing: is I also got um, thirty new followers on Handle. So at the same thing. What is Handle? What is Handle? What is? 
It's are you like, serious or are you trolling I'm right making now? up hands. Okay. Okay. You're making up. But it okay. sounds fun. It sounds real. At this point, I don't know anymore. <laughs> so you normally have good stories. <laughs> <laughs> you normally have good stories after like doing that. Did anyone, oh, anyone yeah. that stuck out? Okay, so group? I was actually telling Jake this. Like, There were these four like frat guys, right? And like right off the bat, always the best audience. I'm like thinking yeah, like always. for anything. These for guys anything. already like hate me because I've never rushed. You know, like they just don't have respect for me. Well, and like we were talking about before the, well, I hate to interrupt. Like we were talking about before the thing when we were talking about the intro before the show. Yeah. Like how you you look the way you do, but you have this very strong. Per- you know, like you don't look like you're going to come on as confident as you do with people. So they're already like yeah. intrigued, but they want you to fail. You yeah, know what I mean? For they sure. want so you to, right off they the wa- bat, people want you to let them down because off. Front your first impression of you yeah. is like, oh wow, this guy's like. Well, most people when I say, it. hey, can I show y'all some magic? They're like, sure, okay. This guy goes, I walk up to them, I was like, hey guys, can I show y'all some magic? He's like, yeah, show us your tricks. So right off the bat, I'm Ugh. like, okay, this like guy this hates me. Do you do so you I hate like, that when they're called tricks? Is that like a thing? Do a little know. trick, Richie. Uh, it it is weird because I don't like because there's certain things in comedy I hate that are so magic to- trick is like not. Like, but I'll, I don't want to say like, "Hey, watch! I'm about to do a magical experiment." You know, I, I don't like taking. I just, I just don't like to call it anything. I just say, "Hey, look! I'm going to do a cool thing." It's the thing I can do that you can't. Yeah. Hey, here's the thing. <laughs> Try it. Look yeah. what I'm doing. So I did it. I, I was doing it for them, and at first they just kind of aggressive, like real, like show us your trick. And so I made a joke, admiring one of the people who seemed like the most alpha of the group. And he started laughing. Let's just call him Chad. Yeah. So, Chad. You, but you you picked out. The, yeah, I was like, oh, this is the guy that they're all like f- looking at him for his opinion. Back on to everything. animalistic instinct, you know, that is such like a thing. Is that normal within? I mean, I would say that's pretty normal within it. Even a group, well, there's of, certain, even a group yeah. of comics. There's, there's certain, always the one, even a group of comics. Well, if the one guy laughs, that like, is, then everyone yeah. is like, yeah. like well, oh, could, he thought it was funny. Like, if you're hanging out with the headliner and he laughs at a joke, absolutely. everyone laughs at the club. It's, it's knowing, like, it's knowing those little things, right? So. If it's like, for instance, if I go to a guy and a girl sitting down, I have to play to the guy and befriend him. Because if I just walk up to a guy and a girl and I start showing this girl this very then impressive feels, stuff, they start being like, "What is this? Oh, it's up. just a trick, babe. He just has two quarters and some string." <laughs> he tenses like, up because he wants you to fail trick. there too. He doesn't feel like he's on your side. Yeah, so no if I go, he feels like you're using magic. Yeah. Like, so, but he they feels would. Like you're, they they might. But some of the stories he tells about. Sometimes I I'll be like I even have to be like, hey dude, I mean hey you probably you probably know how I do it right. It's all cool, but make them feel like they're like they like, have no clue how I do it. They're like yeah that's yeah wow. oh, I do oh, that babe. trick all the time man. yeah first, babe oh I get it babe me and him are me and him are magician buddies. <laughs> I was gonna call you the first misogynistic yeah. magician, but that isn't the case at all <laughs> no. actually. When you look back on no dude like scadly dressed women being thrown in boxes and sword stabbed through no them. I'm like the least that I'm like. Trying to get the girls out of these boxes and out of these with the, these swords. <laughs> this is really unnecessary. Like, Who like I'm trying girl. to, I'm trying, I'm, I'm anti sword. I don't know if I can make this kind of statement on the air, but I'm anti sword. Oh yeah, that's a strong that's, political statement. If I can't, if, if I get invited next week, emails. I understand completely. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You I know, I know. I'm taking a hard stance right now, but you believe? Wait, Richie, you you believe in? Very strong sword control. Yeah, we need sword laws. Okay. No, if you need a sword, you should Tougher. buy a sword. Uh-uh. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> we can talk about this, Ezra. I don't want to get into For magic. Anything. Only for magic. It's <laughs> what if okay. we made it harder for people to get swords? Because yeah. they're so acceptable. Well, I don't want where you can get like a bunch of swords at once. <laughs> what if downtown mini mall just took like a... They, they had to, you had to take a psych test. There's just to one sure. sponsor we'll never have. They're like, well, we did like the show, but that one guy's <laughs> anti-sword. And, well, we only have swords. <laughs> Are you pro throwing uh, star yeah. they've got plenty of those who, chuck anything who knew that that didn't would have a sto- a sword store a sword store those are our antiques sword. those are the antiques hey, is, we it, have. is it sword or sword it's sword sword Sw- it's spelled it, sword. this is getting more fascinating by the yeah. second it's I, well I would, it's spelled sword and it's after it's sword connive it's all the same yeah. thing i just call it s word what what is that what's the what, k-n-s-w conniving Conniving, I'm about to say knife because that's the only knife. I, I don't conniving know. I can't knives would be either. a great knife store name. Conniving knife. That sounds really. Violent. Who would need a knife store? Who would? Oh, that's a thing. There are. have been in the mall, right? There's yeah. a knife yeah. store where their their sign is a big, uh, one of those pocket, you know, pocket. As a, as a poor person, I, am, I can't a pocket fathom knife. I'm not a traditional like man. I don't think I ever will own a <laughs> pair of steel-toed boots. 
I don't think I'll ever need to go to a Lowe's or enjoy going to a Lowe's. And I also don't think I'm one of the guys to ever carry a knife around. You yeah. know, like the guy with the knife. And it's like, I even see the girl, like, can you see it, like, sticking out? Like, what do you need that for? When you have How many the, boxes are you on? When you're wearing you jeans, How many packages are you breaking into throughout the <laughs> day? When you have a fade mark around your knife. That's that's, that's like weird. it's been there for it's <laughs> up there for fashion. It's kind of like when you finally move the TV and the dust around it, you know, is yeah. like there when you're moving. I bet each knife comes with a pair of pants. That's the way I see it. <laughs> so my brother used to sell knives. He used to sell bread knives, right? Mm-hmm. And at this place, they gave him this line to use, right? And essentially, they would like have a knife. Let me use these scissors. They would, you would have a knife and you would say, and it would go ding, right? And yeah. you'd say, do you know what that is? And they'd be like. No, and you go. That's actually a note on on. That's actually a note. It's a B sharp because this knife's always gonna be sharp. What? <laughs> oh, I hate you so much. No, <laughs> that was a real line. I would love for them to go to like some actual musicians. I was like, I don't think that's right at all. That's an A flat. Yeah, I don't even know if it was a real <laughs> if it was a real note. Measuring the decibels. But they sold knives that way. No, they didn't. Has anyone Is ever actually bought the yeah, knives yeah. the door to door salesmen like come with? I don't know. I tried to. My dad did. He bought the. I tried to get knives. that job one time because my friend like. Was it that what is it vector knives? Yeah, or yeah. Whatever? I've gotten a couple like calls from them, and each time I, I didn't know it was the knife place. I was like, oh, these people wanted to hire me. I oh. don't remember calling them. It was like freshman year in high school or whatever. I got the job, and then my parents had to sit me down and be like, this is not what you want to do. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, this is not gonna. Work. I moved to Denton I had with made. the hopes to work at Vacation mm-hmm. Tour and Travel. Yeah, look at you now. Look at me now. I'm doing radio for free. And. <laughs> so we're not getting paid. Starting a ranch. Where's uh, my check, Joey? So, uh, uh, yeah, we have a video of Danny, um, which we should oh totally boy. show because uh, I just realized that we always forget to do the video um, because we don't really have that. Which fine. They'll right tune lately. out as soon as they hear it. Um, where's this out? Where's this out? Where's this, this was at? in Fort Worth Hyenas the last time I did one of their show. Games. I have a vest. You're really dressed you. up here. I have a vest. I mean, a question. You look like a we- a, a, a Westworld character. Because I was, I was, I was, uh, because another comic was hosting that night, uh-huh. and he called me that morning. He's like, "Hey, man, I feel really sick. Could you come host this for me?" I was like, "Sure, this is my big break." So I got all dressed up in the vest, and I got there, and he was there in like a full suit. I was like, "What, what are you doing, man?" You, you asked me, I was like, "Oh, I was just a little hungover. You're good." Uh, <laughs> right. Was it Deadwood night? It looks very. You, you look very uh, deputy, deputy Dan. That's the same outfit the first time I did a like a stand up show when I was like fifteen. All right. Well, let's play it. Is that a? Um, w- well, let's <clears throat> play it so that so people watching and listening can see and hear. This is Daniel Magnan, Fort Worth hyenas uh, jokes people. I uh, I was walking to work the other day and uh, I got stopped by a crackhead, and that's generally a pretty exciting time, right? You know, you always get a good story out of crackheads. <laughs> But like this one was different. Like this, this one had an agenda. I was walking by, he pops out of like the manhole or wherever he was sleeping. He goes, "Hey man, your zipper's undone. Better me tell you than someone you don't know." That was my day up, guys. I stood there for 20 minutes in this Arby's parking lot trying to figure out who this mystery crackhead was. I thought about it. I said, Dad, is that you? <laughs> huh? Guys, that's a joke. My dad hates Arby's. <laughs> and me. Uh, let's crack <laughs> That's Daniel Magnum Fort Worth hyenas. Mm-hmm. I don't you hate that groan? Like what does it's that even mean at the end? What does that groan it's, even mean? If I'm saying it, then you shouldn't have to groan. And especially like, if it's not about a, like why it's about your personal life. Yeah, uh, I I hate that. Like I, I hate when people like because I don't say anything like necessarily offensive or anything like that. No. Joke's probably the most as- offensive thing I say on stage. And people always like will give me groans with that, or like when I talk about like my mom having dementia and stuff. Yeah, and it's Which, like you have a really really good joke. About. Oh, thank you. Uh, but people like will get like all upset about that. But it's like if I can say it, you can laugh about it. Like if anything, it's supposed to be therapeutic to you. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it literally. Uh, it's like when I saw my first lady in half, and 
<laughs> will grow. Yeah. She, she died. People scream. <laughs> there, there will be casualties. Yeah. Uh, your Danny's mom or the lady you saw it in half. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Wait, yeah, Tony. Was. I didn't want to say his name, but it was Tony was the other yeah, comic. Yeah, Tony was the other comic. Uh, Dang, Tony. Uh, I was trying to be nice, Tony. But and, all we're, right. and we're Tony hot. getting all hungover. And we're hot. And Tony's proud of seeing his son on the radio. Thank That's you. supposed to be me. Thank you, two people. Tony, for we started watching. doing comedy on the same day. <laughs> oh, he called you his son, Tony. I think. Yeah, I don't. Maybe you already like, literally the we weirdest started relationship. on the same day. Did y'all? Are y'all? Fr- were y'all friends? Maybe he before? means it. No. Maybe he means uh, it in like a cute way. You know. I, I guess like a pet name. But no, uh, the first time I went to Hyenas, he was there, and we sat next to each other, and we were just making fun of like all the comics that were up that night, because that's what you do at an open mic mm-hmm. when you're bad at comedy. And like we just kind of became friends, and then it, he just happened to live like pretty close to me. And how time. long have you felt this way about Tony? Mm-hmm. I, I don't feel any way. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I don't how, care. How, uh, when did you first feel like you were getting sunned? Okay. Like I was I, getting sucked. I do have a serious question uh, talking about like the groans and the personal stuff. Um, I mean, a lot of your material centralizes around, uh, I mean, like struggles growing yeah. up, family struggles, yeah. um, even fi- in anywhere from financial to just like personal issues. Emo- yes. Like, because you haven't always been rich. No, right? no. I'm rich. I'm very rich right You're now. You're rich and Make laughs. no mistake, guys. <laughs> But you, you definitely, like, uh, I mean, you had a blue-collar upbringing, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I, I grew up in uh, Caledonia, Missouri, which mm-hmm. is a town of 100 people. Wow, that people. sounds, yeah. 100 people live there. Ca- what is it? Cal- Caledonia, Missouri. You know, when you first start saying that, people, like, get really excited. I'm like, oh, Danny's from, like, somewhere it's really cool real in California. Cal- no. Caledonia. Oh, it was... Okay. It was that, and then we had a village called Belgrade. Uh, they called wow. it a village, which had 70-something people, if I remember right. Oh, okay. And uh, it was not a good place to live. Oh, there was a yeah. Walmart maybe 30 miles away. Uh, that people <laughs> that all... was like the rec center? <laughs> yes. That, like, that's that the was, YMCA of That was the, the big weekend that's event. Of the village is Absolutely. the Walmart trip. We, like, uh, we didn't even have a movie theater for like 40 miles away from us. Like I didn't see a movie like for most of my childhood. What? It was like when, going to the movies was like some big deal. When was your deal. first time you went to the movies? That I remember? Uh I went to visit some <clears throat> family in, like, Iowa, and they took me to see, I think it was Transformers it, 2. He just saw it. What? Transformers 2? That was, that one, was, that was the the, one of the first movies I remember seeing in the theater. Yeah. How old are you? I yeah. Like, you're, you're uh, right now I'm 21. I was yeah. probably, like, Oh, okay. I was to say. But still. I, I saw Jungle to Jungle. Still, I don't even know what that is. I know. It's what Tim is? Allen's best. When did, hang on, let me look up when Transformers 2 came out, though. <laughs> because, I mean, still, that was, how I old mean, were I'm, you when you saw that? I don't remember. I'm sure I saw other movies for that. That's the first, like, big memory I have of seeing So that was 2009. When were you born? 2009? Well, maybe that wasn't. I was born in '96, so what? I guess, yeah. Wait, I'm sure I saw other movies for that. My one of my first memories was seeing Transformers 2, like of going. Thirteen to the movies, years old. Yeah. One of your first memories of going to a movie is thirteen years old. So yeah, you're that like was a smack big dab deal. in the middle of like being a millennial, or you are a millennial. Yeah, He's yeah, a I, mean, millennial. I, I guess so. Movies. Yeah, you are too. Technically, well, technically, technically yeah, I think the cutoff's like eighty-five or like ninety. Yeah, no, today I, I, I literally. Oh, I thought you meant the age of eighty-five. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, My I, grandpa's a millennial. I literally <laughs> saw someone who's forty-one today <laughs> on Facebook saying how like yeah, us millennials need to stay together. Da, 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 da. And like, if you I'm wow. and I was about to say, wait. Aren't you? Didn't you just celebrate forty one? What, you you, what would you call that? Gin splaining. <laughs> if you remember when Family Matters was on TV, I don't consider you a millennial. Yeah, no, I, I definitely I don't remember. Uh, See, I don't. I don't. I, I was don't grounded remember. from watching Family Matters. Yeah, that was really? one with Urkel, and Full right? House. That's the Urkel one. There right? was like a. I hardly watched Full See, Ma- I, Family Matters. There was like, like a it. block of TV where they would play like Full House, Step by Step, uh, Family Matters, Hanging with Mr. Cooper. And there, that was like, and, and Fresh Prince. Two, and so I'd watch all like seven of these shows like for two hours. What are you doing with your hands? <laughs> they keep getting so, stuff. So Prince. when Boy Meets World <laughs> came on. Me out. <laughs> oh, Boy Meets World. That's yes. what I was going to say was Boy Meets World. Or the new like, one, uh, Boy Meets Girl. No, no, it's Girl Meets World now. Oh. Boy Meets Girl is a whole different. They're switching uh, it up. A whole different thing they're not showing on Disney Channel. That's for sure. I, uh, so, I mean, what do, you, do you think that's like a, I mean, that's a pretty... I don't know. A lot of comics like to talk about like how bad 
they have it. You know, it's yeah. almost where it's like a crutch and it's like a thing that like they're they're sitting on to be absolutely funny. Do you do you find that like an, an annoyance at all? Like, because I mean, yeah. as someone who like you you had some struggles growing up, obviously. Yeah, you know, you're, and it's like uh, I don't. I don't like to say I don't like to talk about my life as if it was like look how sad I am. Guys. It's more yes. like look how sunburned I am. Yeah, ex- <laughs> <laughs> it's like because I, know, cause I think joke. <laughs> sh- I'm offended. Yeah, You're worry. gonna get some letters, Richie. I'm gonna get sued. There's like Sorry. nine of us waiting out <laughs> back. <laughs> but I mean, it's like okay, so inherently a lot of us do this because there's something missing. It's a like, bit of a crutch. Yeah, that, there's something that. Uh, we don't necessarily have in life, and so you have to seek some, like, sense of validation from all these strangers, right? Yeah. Uh, but I think once people get really heavily involved in to stand – I mean, you know, I, I deal with my own anxiety, depression, yeah. stuff like that. But I, I try not to lean on it because I also realize, you know, people don't necessarily Pe- always want to hear about that. Yeah, people that. are going to watch comedy, especially, like, at the club and stuff. Uh, people are going to the club because they so want – To forget that stuff. Exactly. They want to have a good time. Same, I think, with politics. The Absolutely. News. Like, people don't the, want it no – the, the ex- they don't want you to be the extension of the news. Exactly. Yeah. Like they're going there to get away from uh all of the crappy things they have to deal with and then you have some It's an entertainment. It's Yeah, well, exactly. Then you have some piece. twenty year old kid on there talking about how sad their life is. Right. Like no one wants I that. I guess it's one of those things that's all about balance, you know. But I mean inherently <laughs> inherently comedy though comes from like a dark place. I mean yeah. you do hip hop and yeah. a lot of that comes from like dark I mean but that's the thing is I remember growing has... up I remember growing up and I I'd been I'd been rapping since I was like ten or eleven and I was like 12 or 13. I remember my life being like pretty decent and good, yeah. you know, and all this stuff. And I was like, dang, like I need some struggle, you know? So I really you pushed. You the struggle. Yeah, I, I manipulated some situations, got my parents divorced, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Joined all a couple these gangs. Things, yeah, all these things. That, like, sawed a couple women in half. Yeah, so now when people look back at my life, they're like, oh my oh, gosh, like yeah, you struggle. really persevered, but people don't realize that I just. It's all your fault. I See, made it appear like. I think I think too many people sit on that as like a crutch, the dark thing, especially within comedy. But I think inherently it comes from a dark place. It's just how you twist and turn it, yeah, so exactly. that it shines a light. It's it, all about so context. that it's therapeutic for everyone in the room. You know what I mean? It's, it's not just outlet. you up there doing you. Yeah. But also, I think some of the best comics. I mean, and you know, I'm not saying. I mean, Seinfeld's one of the most successful of all time. He came from a very boring exactly, up, and that kind of also forces. And that's you. why, like, uh, I had a little bit of that. You know, I had my own emotional mental stuff. But like growing up, you know, I grew up in flat like in a very uh, uh a white suburb you know what i mean yeah. and it was very boring just very bland <clears throat> and you kind of have to make fun in situations like that because it's not a very fun yeah. place you know like, what i mean you, me, you see a lot of stupidity and a lot of things that people care about things yeah. that don't matter your parents and are, that made me angry your you know parents what I mean? that's married, what made right? me sad that's what made me depressed was pe- other people yeah, yeah, yeah your parents are married right yeah what's that so, like so right so my parents <laughs> are divorced been divorced since i was a kid so like me imagining like a white suburban family with both people married and eating with your kids, like that has to be so uncomfortable. For I the can't kids. comprehend that. Why, no, why like, is it uncomfortable for the kid? Because like I'd be because like, you didn't grow up in that situation. Because I'd be like cussing and stuff. I'd be like yeah. I don't know. I'm just yeah. I was not the kid that could sit there at the table and well, have. I'm still like the a, brother that does that, and I'm yeah. s- I don't act, you know I'm still my my little brother is not a, my little brother is. Well, you have two brothers. Gradu- right? No, I have I have one little brother. He's graduating from A and M. He is a youth minister. Oh boy. Um, he is the entire opposite end of the spectrum. Of me, so and they I mean, got one good kid out of it. Yeah, our so family's think, still cool. You <laughs> but know, there's still like, hope for his brother. I have a fairly cool family. I mean, you know, it, it was a boring upbringing, so I found the ways to like find my entertainment and not, you know, what I mean, kill myself of boredom. Uh, but in the same breath, I also mm. see like a lot of those families in those upbringings. Yeah. You know, like they almost like a lot of those situations. Some of those people are tied together because of money or yeah. reasons they don't want to yeah. be together, and the family becomes despondent and yeah. like distant. And sometimes that's like, it, like you said, that's uncomfortable for yeah. the kids. That's well, honestly, like, like okay, to be where honest, where you can hear the knife yeah. cutting on the plate. To be know? honest, I mean, I had like, a, it, like you know, my my life story is pretty insane. Just the little crazy things that happened in my life, but. I thought we were about I to I always over. envy. Thank God. I always envy the, you know what I mean? Because I don't know what that would be like. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I have no idea what it would be like to have, like, both your parents well, be hey, like, hey, how was lunch? Come, oh, it was great. Or, I would, would you get so uncomfortable. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, my I know. My family's never asked me how my day was. Yeah. What if, like, what if anytime we, someone asks me how my day is, I go, are you genuinely asking am, me? Am I sick? Or what's or happening can I just right say now? good? Man, what if we did a project for the show? What if you lived with my parents for, like, a week? 
See, here's the thing. It seems Three days. crazy, Three but days. your parents would love me. Yeah, I know. Like, and everybody we could get them on like, you would just love to be there for People free. would be like, you know <laughs> what? Um, it would be really crazy. Wait, wait, time, wait, 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 wait. Do you think you could get your par- my parents to love you more than they love me? Ex- easy. In the same- <laughs> I'm a psychological mastermind. Like, <laughs> okay, I okay. do things. All right, all right, all right, all right. I make fun of you and like, yeah, Joey should have went to college. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and so you're like, yeah, he should have, should be. <laughs> okay, yeah, I tried right. to talk him into it, but he didn't want to go. Hey, I don't even need time with him. I've had 26 yeah. years. Can we somehow set up just one weekend, a Friday, Saturday, yeah. You stay there, and sure. then we get my parents on after to talk about it, even over yeah. the phone. Even over <laughs> yeah. the phone. So and we, do it, we do a I challenge. Had a, we I had do a friend But live at their house as if you would be living in but your how, house. But yeah, like. how, how would we gauge – here's the thing – is how would we gauge if they love you more than me? There has to be some kind of barometer, right? I mean, some they, kind of they'll scale. tell you. Ask them, them to co-sign right alone. Back. Ask them to co-sign Well, here's how it is. No. My, my friend my – friend, My mom's a sweetheart and a liar. She would never – I was hanging out with my friend one time, and she was like, hey, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, I'm just hanging out. I'm, I don't have work or anything. And this was back when I was like a bad boy, just doing oh, bad stop. stuff. Yeah. Jesus no, but she goes, she goes, you want to play? Ugh. She goes, you want to have a, you want to play a funny game? And I was like, yeah. What? And she was like, uh, mom, meet my new boyfriend. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, come to my parents' house and have dinner with us. And I'm just gonna say that you're my new boyfriend and just act crazy. <laughs> and so. Right when I showed up, I, I, immediately, I immediately yeah, saw the, no one's winning. the parents like be like, hey, <laughs> just what's up? in the life of Richie. Because I was just dressed all like poorly and my hair was all crazy. And I, I, couldn't, was, like, am- I couldn't imagine in. that. Yeah. You didn't no. wear your blazer from yesterday <laughs> that no. you wore over your pajamas? But I, <laughs> but I walk in. I, he I performed in. in a blazer and pajamas yesterday. Yeah. I actually. I wouldn't expect anything My else. greatest trick yesterday that I pulled was the fact that I convinced people that I was wearing slacks. But right. they were just sweatpants. Anyway, you went to the girls. Yeah. <laughs> no. So, yeah. So, I went to her parents. Master of illusion. And right off the bat, her dad's like, hey. And they're all like dressed nice in this house that there's a room that you can't even go in because they have white carpet. But it's a room that's so inviting that you want to go in it. But they're like, oh, why would they have that room then? I don't it's understand. One of I don't those. know. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah he has a room like in his house. He has spare room. That's a so rich. That's a rich white. Person. One day I go, <laughs> that's a, or or a middle. That's that's a. That's one a, time I told Joe, I go, hey, you remember? When my mom had that room. My mom had yeah. that room. I go, Joe, you remember when you were a kid? Not like, anymore. You would leave something upstairs and you had to go all the way back up to get it. And he's like, yeah. I was like, I have no idea that that's a thing. <laughs> I had no right, because you didn't have stairs. Yeah. you didn't have stairs. But I knew I didn't you have stairs. I didn't have stairs until my second house when we moved out here to the DFW. Yeah. When my family originally. I originally lived in West Texas. It was a single uh, a single story, but my mom did have one of those rooms. It had a TV. It yeah. had all these nice, like, china, nice couches, you know. The best pillows. couch. I was never allowed in that room. <clears throat> Sorry for my Yeah, voice. no, so we're there and, like. Your parents were probably doing some crazy stuff in there. They just didn't want you to know about. She told me before. I don't think so. It was so well kept, you know. She it was told like me a before. Little, like, dollhouse. don't tell my parents that we like go out at night and like that I like I drink. They don't think I drink that much and like. Wait, so were you actually this cigarettes. girl's boyfriend? No, we were just that's friends. Right. Okay, that's and so saying. we go and dude, the dad. Right, I just start. I just do this thing with parents where I start picking on the kid. Yeah, you're the yeah. Uh, what is what is it on Leave It to Beaver? You're the Eddie Haskell. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's this you were where Richie, like, Richie Haskell. I was like, dang, don't you wish she would have just finished her tr- her trade school stuff and i was like yeah richie you got a good point you know <laughs> cecilia talk to richie about it and i'm like did you just name Wait, drop my her name cecilia no <laughs> i made up a name that was what i came up with that's a very odd name just made right? up all right wait 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 so let's could we so figure this out it, hey parents loved me after christmas like when stuff cools down for my family would you stay a weekend yeah I got you would and you have to have dinner there would have to be like guidelines and we would have to like weekend we would coffees. have to make the guidelines on the show you would have to be almost recording on your phone so we could hear the table conversation. <laughs> My parents, after, would think it's hilarious. We'd get them to sign some waivers, mm-hmm. and then we see who loves who more. We've never had a magician in the house. <laughs> <laughs> we never had a talented son. Amazing. What's this about? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, are you a Tom Petty fan? My dad's like a Tom Dude, Petty. Dude, I don't know any music, but okay. I your you dad could, will think I'm the biggest. You could Tom BS Petty with fan. the best of them. I know you. Yeah, could. dude. Yeah, I don't know if you could trick him. He's have you like ever heard huge. of Crispin Glover? He, Tom Petty, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I hear he's doing pretty well. I'll get your dad to love Crispin, Crispin Glover. Glover. As as I love Tom Petty. <laughs> dude, can we do this? Would that be Jake? What are the? I'd are there any? That. Are there any issues with something like this? Dude, not at all. Please, dude. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> I'm begging. Oh my gosh, that would be great. That it, would be a well, wonderful here's the bit. thing. Here's the thing where where you don't understand like. I also changed these parents because 
I've had probably some of the deepest conversations with like people's parents or uh-huh. like people who like their kid go. They're like my friend leaves for a second. I'm just sitting there with the parents. I'm like, yeah. So is everything good between y'all? <laughs> and they're like, well, what do you mean? And I'd, I'll just be like, I don't know. I just kind of noticed like a little weird tension. It's How's your marriage? Thing. Yeah. And next thing you know, I'm their marriage counselor. And they're like, if you get my bring parents, Richie back over here every day. If you get like, my parents divorced, it better make my No, it won't. But funnier. I will def. Do your parents. I better get funnier. Do your parents use swear words around the house? Uh, not that much. Situational. Not that much. They'll be. When you next time you go, you're like. Dang, mom! What are you saying? All these cuss words. <laughs> dang, for? mom! I'll be saying dang, mom. You'll be in saying response dang, mom. To her her She's vulgarity. Like, yeah. So how would I pitch this to them? How would we make them think you're staying with them for this week? This strange man that looks like you. Hey, so you guys know my friend Richie? He, he hangs a lot, a lot on the streets and stuff. And he I'm does sure my magic. my mom is on Facebook, so I'm sure she has. Uh, she has. She's came by this this thing that we're doing right yeah. here before. Do you listen to this? No, no, no. I think one time my mom told me that she tuned in, and I do think it was um, <laughs> the DDT episode. <laughs> that was the worst time. Before. One of the most like in your face. It was hilarious. Uh, oh man, no. Uh, how would what would what would be the angle there? Would, <coughs> I think we would say, I "Hey, Richie? mom, I have a friend who is a foreign exchange student, and he's coming here from Ireland." Okay. And his buddy Richie. Okay. You'll be the Irish guy. Okay, I could I could do that. Um, my, his buddy Richie needs a place to crash, and I told him he could stay at the house for two days, and he's just going to kind of hang out with you and Dad because he really – Oh, I could be doing a, 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 a report on – me, M- I think married we should couples. Just, I think we should just leave them at the doorstep and ring the doorbell and <laughs> in a basket. Away. Just in a basket, just yeah. on a rainy night. On a rainy night, just I'm like just like <laughs> in a really big. Do it on Christmas night. That's a bottle of Jack problem, in his hands. Problem child, him. <laughs> just put me in a big stock. You kind of look like problem child. I don't. I've I, never seen. What is that? Oh wow. Anyway, is that a movie? you know, poster child. Isn't is it problem child? The little redheaded kid that is like that, it has. Um, wait, is that the one about like the 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 Antichrist or some? It's one of those. No, movies. that's the omen. Yeah, um. that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Of. <laughs> Let me see. I've gotten that is. before. I've gotten that I look like the kid from Omen. Before. What's an What's an angle? You, you oh man, we I look like so many different children. Jake, you have any good angles? How How can we get my parents in on Dude, this? Dude, my head is racing because right. I and I I'm in for whatever. Mm-hmm. You, if I need to call and be like a tax attorney or something, like <laughs> I don't whatever I got to do. All right. Can we look at this picture? Is this the thing that who, people can see? You're just zooming in on the no. The f- that's Fallout, the video game. People know who that's you're talking not, about. That's not. Yeah, that's. He's I, blonde. That's a I little, know that's he's blonde. That's a little Nazi but boy. But the face. You have the same triangle nose and <laughs> and round face and eyebrows. Wow. Who who you're does? So full of compliments today. You do look you like a chia pet. <laughs> no, don't worry, I got you, buddy. Thanks, pal. I, no, I and, and the three fingers. The fact, do this. I mean, like, why are we going on the radio to talk about what I what look like? What do you look like? like. That's, <laughs> that's the biggest question right now. For all they know, for all the people not watching this, I could be a six you foot two black huge. man. You could be. You yeah. are. And I am in my uh-huh. dreams, and and in NBA and 2K the NBA two K sixteen. Speaking of dreams, <laughs> do you make really a black quick. guy when you play? No, no. <laughs> I like I make someone who looks like me, and then I regret it forever. I never. I'm gonna be He's honest. He's the worst I never player. Do yeah, I don't. He's pretty bad. <laughs> I just make up a dude because I know the game would just like if you make a white Joey Johnson or Joe Coffee, they're like, no, he's See, not. They're I, gonna they're gonna bump my stats down. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna put my speed at a 73. I can't have that. Joey Johnson from Flower Mound. Yeah, yeah like, Joe he's Coffey. playing for the Pistons. Uh, man, we'll we'll think of the angle. That's something we're gonna do. I think in a future yeah. episode. Would you actually be down? Is this something you're saying right now? See, I think when it comes down to it, you wouldn't want to stay at my parents for a weekend in Flower Mound. I would. Where though. would he sleep? In my old bed. Oh, okay. It's really comfortable, too. It's a big You have an old bed? No, it's like, it's not old. It's my old bed, but it's not an old bed, you know? It's It's like an old, dusty bed. bed. It's a decent. You want to, you want to get on to some, some weird news and we'll do some plugs and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get out. Yeah. Weird news drop today um, by Richie Flo. Richie has a special weird news drop. Today it's weird news. And we're here to read it to you from yeah. the newspaper. Paper. From the newspaper. Paper. Okay, <laughs> so weird news today. Um, I pulled up some super last. So yeah, 
problem child. You, he, he looks like Michael Oliver from, and John Ritter was in it. Who was the back? Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert Godfrey. Now, <laughs> why is he the hardest voice to do? Oh, the bad guy I think was Michael Richards too. My uh, my theater <laughs> teacher still in a bad school, guy. Her claim to fame was that she was John Ritter's cousin, right? So she would be like. Oh, there's three facts about me. One, I was in the movie DOA. Two, my cousin's John Ritter. And three, I was an extra in Titanic. So we had to figure out which one was a lie and which ones were true. Yeah. She wasn't in Titanic, but her cousin was John Ritter, and she was in the movie DOA, right? Well, those Ritter she tells us that, you far. Well, she tells some, us that a week later, right there. a week later, <laughs> John Ritter dies. And oh, she wow. is devastated. Yeah. And I oh, was wow. like, two is company, two. Oh, my God. Okay. A 28-year-old woman Love from her. New York is accused of robbing a bank while leaving her six-year-old daughter to wait in a taxi. Um, according to ABC... Danny, it's like your origin yeah, story. Yeah, it's, it's Brooklyn. <laughs> this is hitting close. <laughs> according to ABC News, Diana Marini handed a bank teller a note demanding cash around 1 p.m. I'm sorry. The whole... like That is like such a modern movie, The handing the bank teller the yeah, note. I want to see that note because I'm sure she misspelled some yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's like, like some scribbles. Can we pre- proofread this note? We need to stop robbing banks. Can, I'm all. I'm taking a stance on that. Oh wow, too. you're so brave. I'm no anti bank robbery. Okay, no bank robbery. This is some pretty controversial stuff. No, yeah, right. you really need to stop and pushing I'm a, these hot takes. On I'm my actually show. pro sword now. I've thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some time to think about it. Pro <laughs> sword. <laughs> Everybody, get your sword. Get your sword. Got swords right here. <laughs> As many as you can get. Get them all they're high. You should sell them by She four handed packs. a bank teller a note demanding cash around 1 p.m. Saturday. Again, what is the note? That's not a very aggressive. That's like, <laughs> if I'm a bank teller and I've handed this, I'm just like, okay. I'm going to, like, wink at them and go to the back. Give all it the 10 cops. years. Give them, they have the little button under if the thing, If they just too. have the note, that means they and don't have They the have gun. a button under and the desk they just push, and then it yeah, sets off. Exactly. It, like, calls the police. In 10 years, so it's going to be note? like, he just... He just slid over the iPad, which said... <laughs> <With> the <laughs> center a telegraphic message once we have the chips in our arms. You know? yeah, I got to airdrop you this once, real quick. Once they chip he us, opened his I got to airdrop you this <laughs> ransom. He opened his notebook in his iPhone and, and sent scroll. her a message. He's like, wait. And told her to scroll down. <laughs> tweeted her. That's um, what the emails really were. Well, here's after the he teller the gave. Bank, send, give me all your money. After the teller gave Marini, the bank robber, the cash, she fled in the. Te- so, just like said, they give him the cash, then you just. They're going to get pulled yeah. over. And what does the taxi driver do? Do you think he's in on this? Obviously, I mean, not. Or maybe that's a, a good. That's a good, like, out. Like, oh, it's just a taxi if driver. If she can afford a taxi, also, I think she's doing fine. Yeah. I don't think she's in needs New York to rob City, a bank. right? Here's what yeah. we need, though. Like, we taxi. all know, like, if you were going to rob a bank, think about this. You'd be standing in line. You'd be yeah. freaking out inside. You're like, okay, should I do this? Should I not do this? This is a bad idea. This might be a good idea. This is <laughs> a terrible the note, idea. The note Everything in life is going to go bad for me after this. I'm going to be in jail forever. Oh, this is a great idea. Uh-huh. Oh, so then you finally get up to the thing and you push the note. So you're in all this like pressure. They should just give you like a bunch of stacks of fake money and just put it <laughs> in the thing. And you're like, here, take all this million gajillion dollars. So they're like, oh my god, I got. Thank all. you. We got too yeah. many. And, and then they just giving out counterfeit money. money. That's so many felonies. Exactly. Also, if I'm a taxi driver and you're telling me wait one second and you're leaving the baby in the taxi, I'm not settling for that, it's right? A, There's no way. It'd be really funny if the taxi driver took the kid while yeah. she was or in the bank. That would be a good way to once again problem child someone. Just you know, leave them in the taxi and then never come back. And the taxi driver stuck with if only my dad could afford a taxi yeah. ah i'd be <laughs> living with some nigerian man i'm mm-hmm. sure <laughs> well when police apprehended the vehicle they found marini and her daughter inside marini is charged with robbery and endangering the welfare of a child wow that That's, was i mean robbing a bank you don't i i understand it's un, in, it's insured money and all that yeah. like but a bank is so like regal yeah like I'm not trying. I'm trying to like rob a Sherwin Williams, right, or a Burger oh, King. Jamie's yeah, waving. Yeah, Jamie's at us. Hi, waving. Jamie. I was trying to ignore him. I didn't want to. Oh, is that Jamie? That I thought it Jamie. was Sanford Black. You can't hear us. Can't hear us out there. Oh. Oh no. Oh, you can can't you hear, hear us, us now? Sanford. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, nope. you guys see I Sanford. Think he's just lying oh, to us. he's oh, trying to oh, oh, acting oh. chops. All right. Control room. What were you saying? Bank so regal. No, banks are so regal, so, like... <laughs> 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 okay, no, Bernie. No, I'm just not, a, like, imagining, like... Bernie Flo. Having the goal, I think we can use. Goal as in G-U-L-L, not the goal as in G-O-L. Yeah. 
Like the goal? Mm-hmm. I am more okay. confused. <laughs> I don't know. Where are you going with this? I just Do you have it. anywhere to I'm go? I'm not trying to rob a bank, guys. Okay, I'm proud I'm of you. saying that communism's the only true way. That's what yeah. I was <laughs> Next story, a 10-acre desert ranch is up for grabs in Arizona with unique property listed as featuring an in-ground swimming pool, a hay barn, and a constant stream of, that's right, extraterrestrials I heard about that this, travel yeah. through a backyard portal. You heard about this? This is the third time this guy's tried to sell this house. Really? At first, it was like for like 200 grand, and then he's like, you know what? It's $5 million now. There were aliens, guys. Okay, what? so... What? Wait, when did you hear about that? How long ago like, was that? Uh, I saw it on Reddit probably within the past week. Okay, so wait, it slowed down for a bit. All right, Unless there's back. another guy with an alien ranch. If that's um, the case, we should be investing. Well, it's weird how trends happen, though. There's like one yeah. guy with an alien ranch, and then there's <laughs> and then 20 All of a sudden, everybody has an alien Me ranch. Me too. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Stardust Ranch in Rainbow Valley, which was featured on the Travel Channel. So, yeah, you probably have ever heard about this uh, in Ghost Adventures in 2016. Is on the market for a cool $5 million, Jesus Daniel. Christ. You're rich. Oh, boy. After its current owner said he grew tired of fighting off aliens, aliens, m- aliens, <laughs> aliens, malevolent abductions. I am losing my my throat is really the aliens right alliance. I like that. In, in another interview, he says he killed. He, he claims he killed a bunch of them with a samurai. Sword. Oh, yeah. Here we go, Richie. <laughs> here we go. Yes. Quote, almost immediately from the day we moved in, we began to have strange experiences. Owner John Edmonds told the Phoenix Station over the last 20 years, Edmund claims that he has been abducted and had medical experiments performed on him by the aliens and even had to slay a few in samurai sword fights. <laughs> I don't believe that's a good sword. reason. That's it's where swords are. Um, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'll fight till the death for his right to hold a sword. <laughs> <laughs> but I will fight with a sword for his right to uh, fight with a sword. But I don't sword. believe him about the aliens. <laughs> 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 It's one or the other, man. Yeah. You gotta <laughs> I, I'll defend his right to have the swords, but I don't believe him about the aliens. How bad are these aliens that they're getting killed with a, a trailer man swords. with the swords? Yeah. They don't have lightsabers? <laughs> I mean, I, I understand, though, the thing is we're thinking like, oh, a <clears throat> samurai sword that we know about would never do that. But he's probably using samurai swords that are using Sometimes 30, 000, like year 3000 technology. Yeah, you know, you know that's stuff. why he needs to sell this ranch for five million dollars. He's got so he to buy more swords. Yeah, more high tech alien swords. As you wouldn't exciting. shoot an alien with a human bullet. You know what I mean? Why, why wouldn't you? Why you could kill I him would with a try human that more than you need a laser ray with plasma. Clearly, <laughs> <Well, laughs> duh. Duh. Only, hey, only banks, a moron banks would are know so that. regal, <laughs> and you have to shoot aliens with lasers. Yeah. Noted. I bet you could get that guy on the show. Well, probably. That'd be sweet. Oh, that would he's be amazing. He seems like the type that just wants any just attention. Come, yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, we've gotten a few of those. <clears throat> Danny. Um, as exciting yeah. as it may all sound, he said it has not been a positive experience for him as he purchased the property to take care of rescue horses. Instead, he claims the animals have harmed not only him and his wife, but the animals. Uh, quote, I saved from the time I was eight years old on to buy a horse ranch. Man, that is some... That is some goals right there. You Saving for <laughs> since you're eight years old to for buy a, a horse. <laughs> for a like, used horse, horse ranch. But like what does that knew. mean? That, that from eight Till then, he never spent any of that money from me. Oh, eight. wow. This, this is my hilarious. horse Hey, money. Richie. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, continue to read that quote and read it in like a, a redneck accent. I say from the time I was eight years old on to buy a horse ranch, and when I buy a horse ranch, I buy an alien hellhole. All right, that wasn't as good <laughs> as I thought it that? would be. Yeah, that was pretty terrible. <laughs> I'm actually not from the Midwest. When I buy Man, a horse deliverance ranch. Deliverance doesn't hold up like I thought it did. I buy an alien hellhole. Like, that's hilarious. Uh, it's not like you can say, well, I screwed up. I'll just dump it and go get another one. <laughs> That's what he's trying to do. He's posted photos on Facebook that show some of the physical injuries and scars he claims aliens have left him with. One such shows photos, uh, dents and scratches on his leg, which he describes as wounds from a battle with a malevolent E.T. Uh, That's why I want to move, he wrote. That's the caption. That? It's a picture. Oh, I wish I would have sent this to Jake. Oh, this, this one? man has a dent in his leg, and the caption is, this is why I want to move, exclamation point. That's hilarious. Well, that's why I want to move in. <laughs> Another photo shows a samurai sword lying across what he claims to be, to be alien blood on the ground. He so he had to kill something, you know. Which yeah, is even something scarier. died at this man's yeah, hands, yeah. and that's what yeah, we should that's be. That's what we should be reporting. Well, uh, what? 
No, well, I mean, aliens, once they die, they usually melt he the floor. He wrote that the E.T. <laughs> he sliced was able to get away because he didn't dislocate an at- antenna <laughs> on its head, which apparently isn't easy to do. Um, his wife it has, its own has also had like a like a Zelda game. His wife has also had her share of experiences. Um, she's been levitated out of the bed, this and that. Anyway, there's a listing on HuffPo somewhere on the internet. Five million dollars, people. Um, you got it. Send it to my GoFundMe. I they don't know where lying. the portal is, but they think there's a portal that's um, that's bringing them in. You think he's lying? No, I, mean, I I think there might be, you know, some truth. Like, let me just give you a <laughs> let me give you a metaphor. Whenever we have shampoo companies that you know use mice and do experiments on them, they don't then again release that mouse. What into if the we're wild. the What if we're the mice? They wouldn't release us back into the wild. Oh. They would keep is us. Is this a Jaden yeah. Smith tweet? What is <laughs> this? <laughs> no, no, no. It's true though. We're intergalactic and we're planetary. Yeah, we're just um, specks of dust under a giant's toenail. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. My blown, dude. Oh, my God. All right, Danny, any plugs? Uh, I will be hosting a showcase at uh, Hyenas Comedy Club in Dallas on this Sunday. Tickets are $5. Uh, I understand if you're not there. Uh, I'm also be doing two Brave Boys podcasts. Uh, pretty great show. I'll be doing that on the 20th, I think. And uh, I'm unemployed. Yeah. So that's it for me. So get Danny a job. Richie, plug. Uh, November 4th, I believe, at Killers. If I'm not for certain, I'll write it and correct that. But also, November 25th, I'll be at Andy's. I'm going to be at the Fawcett November 16th. And then November 10th, everybody knows that they can catch me. Right everybody here. knows. Everybody. Everybody. Knows. On the courthouse where I do my street slam poetry, which is made up on the spot. And I may or may not actually be out there. Not true. I hear good Thank things. I may or I may not heard. actually be out there. And also, um, I'm going to start writing for the Wellington Tribune. Okay. So. Thank you. I will be plugging on the 7th, this next Tuesday, Backyard on Bell. Uh, me, Mana, Javoris, uh, and Brett Crow. There will be a show, essentially, Backyard on Bell. Um, come see some jokes. I believe that starts around 8.30, Backyard on Bell. Uh, the 7th and then the 12th, on my birthday, I should be doing a guest spot for Polly Shore if I don't get... Yeah, get, get burned Guess there. For Don't get burned there. Um, that'll be at Hyena's. Always trust Plano. comedy clubs. Yeah. yeah. Also, Always. just a, just something to leave everyone with. If you're gonna go out and scuba at all, check your tanks, man. I check don't check see those tanks. <laughs> I and only want to get some oxygen. Nobody oh. knows on the podcast app on your phone, iHeartRadio, iTunes, uh, Joe Coffee, uh, Joe underscore Coffee underscore on Twitter, whatever Richie's Twitter is. Daniels uh, is Magden Daniel. Is yeah. It? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Real creative. So, yeah, thank you. Episode 25, we did it until <laughs> we get fired. Danny, appreciate it, man. Thanks, Thanks man, for, for having out. me. Yeah. I appreciate it. Later, awesome. guys. Least, Bye. Yeah. Well, thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure to check out DentonRadio.com for new Denton artists and where they're playing next. While you're surfing the Internet, make sure you check out our friends Classic of Denton at ClassicofDenton.com. <laughs>